take a second to talk about fast radio bursts. Something I've heard the astrophysicists and astronomers talking about it, read about it more. Um, it's very interesting to me, and I think that maybe it's being something that's just being kind of mowed, mowed over to a certain degree. So let's at least talk about it, get the information out there, let people do the research for themselves. You. Salutations. I thought uh, we'd talk about fast radio burst. Once again, fast radio burst and what they are. Uh, they caught my attention when I read uh, the astronomers talking about them because one is they're extra galactic. That always catches my attention. Uh, what they are are these um, like a transient radio pulse that I've been reading several things I've been picking up that's interesting that they say this pulse, although it just lasts a few seconds and they don't know where they come from, but it's got the, about the million or more times the power of our sun for this burst. And then um, that's, I mean, that, that's an incredible amount of power and there's no glare and no flare that goes along with this phenomenon. So I'm hearing things that there's certain, there's certain um, explanations they have for it that like it's a rotating neutron star and it's uh, maybe some type of rotating pulsar or something like that. But I find it interesting that this is also, this phenomenon is contained within a certain electromagnetic field as well. As well. So, taking that to the next level, since they do not know what they are, where they're coming from, I'm hearing other things like, is this possible a sign of some type of extragalactic trade routes? Some type of trade route or propulsion or system that's being used by an advanced civilization. And that takes us into type three, top four, type four civilizations that would have constructed a megastructure called the Dyson Sphere, which is encapsulating a star and containing the energy from there. But that once again takes us into the nano, the miniaturization, the pico of technology, which means the miniaturization of things. And that uh, can go to a point of where you've got just so much of a similar civilization and so much inside of that solar system, inside a Dyson sphere, is that what we're seeing here? Is something like a Death Star going into hyperdimension, jumping frequencies? Is that what we're seeing that burst being? Very interesting. I think it, uh, I want to see what more becomes out of this, just simply because it's a very exciting phenomenon, I think. Um, but that takes us once again kind of into what are the civilizations that advanced millions and millions of, a million years ahead of us? What are they actually like? What did they attain when it comes into miniaturization and what we call me megastructures? And especially you can take that, kind of transfer that into the implants and things like that. And the fact that a lot of those implants had like a mile of carbon nanotubes in them. They could do, if you, that could be done for an implant, microscopic, imagine what could be done inside of a Dyson sphere. It's mind blowing, but the way that maybe what we might be witnessing out there who knows what level the technology is, but is that what we're seeing out there is a large body making some type of a hyperdimensional jump or a warp, warp jump of some type between maybe galaxies. Food for thought only, doesn't matter what I say, look it up for yourself. <laughs> Do your own research. You know, it's not about me, it's about you awakening your own consciousness. Please subscribe to this channel. Please check me out on Patreon. I'm going to do more live feeds there, more talking to people. Actually, I think it's a, maybe a better platform to get rid of some of the trolls. But I'm not leaving YouTube completely, but I want more intense interactions over there. So anyway, thank you. God bless to all. Peace.